time already. Uh, all right. All right. All right. God bless each and every one of you out there in Christ Jesus. This is your brother Ron and um, my lovely wife. Cynthia. <laughs> and, and so um, uh, ultimately, we want to bring to you uh, some important truth in reference to the getting beyond the desires, the feelings, um, the inner motives to justify yourself, to avenge yourself, to um, bring some sort of of uh, of true um, uh, condition of life that you believe that you should have and should um, obtain that uh, may be beyond you, may be something that God uh, doesn't want to manifest at this particular time. Because one of the things that we know is that God is, uh, he's training up his children. He's training up the people, the people that are within his sheepfold. Um, and, and even those who are outside, he's drawing them. He's drawing them by himself supernaturally, and he's drawing them uh, through the servants mm -hmm. that he's uh, opened their hearts and given them a internal burden, an internal desire to uh, bring people to the household of God. God is making people fishers of men. God is making people, people who have a heart, a, a heart of love for others to see them uh, ultimately gain the, inter the, uh, the eternal inheritance that God has uh, placed um, as an availability for people to have uh, so that they don't have to spend eternity separated from God. Um, so in that, God loves mankind for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on the son of God, Jesus Christ would not perish, but instead have everlasting life. And so there's this belief that God is forging in the people of God, making the people of God after his nature, after his likeness, so that they can share eternity along with him, alongside him. And so when it comes to this idea of avenging oneself, this idea of, you know, um, uh, bringing uh, your own justice to the forefront, it's, it's a strong uh, desire only because there is an, an internal justice system mm -hmm. that we all have. We all have uh, characteristics and behaviors um, that are within us that we know are either right or wrong. Mm -hmm. And and so one of the stories that I, I wanted to kind of look at was uh, a story that helps us to really get to the very core of what is good. Right. You know, even though we may have the right to judge another, we may have the right to say things or, or do things um, according to whatever systems in which we believe we uh, could execute those things. And so uh, so in Matthew chapter one is a very beautiful chapter that's um, that's filled with all sorts of prophecies, all sorts of things that are important for us to know in reference to the Messiah. Uh, and so one of the things that it says is that because Joseph, uh, the, in a sense, stepfather of Jesus, you know, uh, this man in which was the person that was the husband of Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, God said, uh, the, the, uh, the account here says, because he was a just man, he decided not to make his uh, wife, his, his, uh, this woman in which he was betrothed to, he decided not to not make her a, a public shame, to not make her someone who would receive uh, punishment according to the Mosaic law. The Mosaic law said that, you know, ultimately if a person was uh, pregnant by someone else, 
that ultimately that was a sin. That was a sin unto the Lord, and God had placed a law in position for that uh, woman who transgressed the law to be killed by stoning. Uh, and, and so the Bible says, though, that he was a just man and he did not want to put her in a position to be publicly stoned for what he uh, perceived was a violation against the, the, the sacred trust that a husband and wife should have. And so what happens is, I believe what we're seeing is the fact that his heart was in the right condition to receive instruction from God, even though he did not know what uh, the ultimate workings of God were. So because he had the right heart to where he was just, and even though he could have carried out the actions of the law and had her stoned, he didn't allow his heart to to loathe in avenging himself, loathe in uh, levels of hatred and, and the pain that he probably was feeling at that moment, you know, to, to you know, he was uh, probably being told by his wife, hey, an angel came to me. As the scripture does say, an angel came to me and told me this and explained this to me that uh, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God would overshadow me. And now there would be a, a the Son of God that would be in my uh, womb that would uh, uh, that was there for a purpose. And so uh, this story is something that's important for us to understand because uh, he was uh, in position in his heart and this justice, this true justice in his heart positioned him to be able to be given a, a dream from the Lord. God came, God allowed an angel to come to him and tell him what was really going on. So he did not understand at first, but now he was in position to receive from the, the counsel of the angel further instruction because his heart was in position, because he was not overrun by any jealousy or any um, uh, hatred for what he perceived was a violation. So um, um, I know, go ahead, my, go ahead, my lovely wife, I know she has a lot to say in reference to this because this is such a uh, important topic in reference to the condition of our own hearts and how we can grow from uh, positions that seem um, not as they ought to be, but yet God's doing a supernatural work behind the scenes. Yeah, you know, a lot of what you was, that you just stated um, is very important and relevant to a lot of us in succeeding in the, in the Lord, but also just becoming good people, not evil people that's just been overtaken by, mm -hmm. by life and experiences. Um, so there's been uh, so a recent, there's been uh, several recent conversations in the past several days that has been causing me to spend more attention, spend more time paying attention to the conditions of my heart because, you know, out of your heart flows the issues of life. And that's why right. we're supposed to guard our hearts with all diligence. Amen. Um, because the heart is one thing that uh, a sister and I were talk discussing about how, you know, you could break a bone and, and you know, at, at some point it kind of resets itself and it's healed as long as it's bandaged and ca um, cast properly. You can you can cause a bone to be rehealed. And a, and a lot of parts of our bodies we can fracture and injure them and, they, and they'll be healed. Uh, but the heart, like if you break a heart, if you break someone's spirit, it's one of the hardest parts of your body mm -hmm. to mend. And mm -hmm. that's why I think it's so beautiful that Jesus Christ has come to bind up the brokenhearted because mm -hmm. we really do need him um, in his tender way, in his merciful, kind way to really touch our hearts. Because when our hearts are broken, it's not the easiest thing to allow people back in. It's not simple to have just any mm -hmm. person, whether they're qualified or not, to come close to those areas because it's been broken. And so, you know, one too many things can happen. But one of the things that have come very common in our in our world is that people begin to turn to 
evil Mm -hmm. and they allow their experiences to not draw them to someone who can heal them, the, the true physician, Jesus, but really cause them to grow bitter angry mm-hmm. evil mm-hmm. and and it shows in now their disposition their actions and their heart it just you know your heart displays who you really are through your actions so one thing that you mentioned about Joseph that mm-hmm. I thought was was significant to pull out more was having to be in the society that he was in in the time frame that he was in mm-hmm. uh, it mattered a lot uh, reputation mattered. Uh, your integrity mattered. The name of the family line that you came from yeah, mattered. So yeah. there was a lot at stake with this whole situation with the Virgin Mary all of a sudden just mm-hmm. being with child mm-hmm. and him not being a part of that process. Mm. You know, there's a lot that as a person you can internalize and and make conclusions on. So with Joseph, for him to have been told before, for us to have been told Joseph was a just man, and not being willing to publicly shame her and make an example of it, but rather put her away privately in spite of the personal hurt that he might have felt. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, mm-hmm. just think about just being in a marital situation and mm-hmm. a spouse commits adultery, the kind of pain right. and, and heartache that comes with that mm-hmm. or um, any form of betrayal. And then having to deal with other people's opinions being spoken about the matter. And so for Joseph to be able to go through that and not allow his emotions to make a decision for him, but be sober enough to allow who he is, the essence of who he is, his integrity, um, the man of God that he is to make a a sound decision outside of his emotions, Mm -hmm. outside of what people could be buzzing about, outside of what he thinks is right according to the law and do something outside of what is expected um, or or understood Mm -hmm. uh, shows what we need to to gravitate closer to as men and women of God. And it just gives us a, a greater picture of what Jesus is calling us into. So, you know, with him being in the law, there was a lot of laws, Mm -hmm. but the laws, what the one major thing with the law was that it wasn't connected to your heart. It Mm. was just behaviors. Um, It was just, you do this, then you do this. And, And you could be very, very cold and hard but f- complete the law, a- mm. a keep the law. Mm-hmm. And so with Joseph, he was fully within his parameters to stone this woman mm-hmm. openly mm-hmm. because of what he's not understanding is happening. Mm. But what the law says, if you if this happens, then this is your outcome. So for him to come outside of what he's allowed to, to step outside of the natural jurisdiction of what your body and your emotions are telling you you're justifiable in and, and decide to do what is most pleasing to the Lord. That's what we need to, to evaluate, dissect, and figure out, man, how do I become someone who is considered righteous before God? Mm-hmm. Um, you hear all this stuff that the world makes uh, exceptions for, like crime of passion. Mm-hmm. You walk into mm-hmm. a room and you see your spouse with another person and you are just overtaken with this jealousy or mm-hmm. this rage and whatever happens at that moment the world understands that mm-hmm. or or uh, temporary insanity you mm-hmm. just kind of lose your mind for a moment and it's understood because everyone understands that you as a person in your emotions there's a capacity mm-hmm. that human beings have before they do things that normally will not be accepted or allowed. Mm -hmm. So, but for Joseph, he showed great temperance and surrenderance to the Lord because now this is, this is a manifestation of not walking in the flesh. You have Mm -hmm. to walk in the spirit so you don't fulfill the lust of your flesh. Mm -hmm. Now, so now this is a man that can subdue the flesh, push down all of these emotions, Mm -hmm. push down all of the expectations of his society and his culture and do what's right. That now positions him to hear and see clearer Mm. because not everything we feel, not everything we evaluate is sound, Mm -hmm. especially if there's emotions involved and we Mm got to respect that. So having a, having to step back, breathe, for a second and give God space and time to come and communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Even if you were wronged, the opportunity to allow God to give you the right perspective or to heal your heart right now from something that just afflicted it. And for you to have the right uh, emotional disposition Mm -hmm. 
allows for you to be righteous in the eyes of God, mm. regardless of what you do and would be understood. Like you shoot this person. Well, everybody understands why I would shoot this person mm -hmm. and they might be, give me a slap on the wrist and give me going. But how did that glorify God? Mm -hmm. How did that bring a resolution to the problem? Mm -hmm. Uh, Recently, it was said um, in one of our uh, collective gathering meetings and in discipleship, my pastor said, the Lord is not out to solve our problems, mm -hmm. but to resolve our problems. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very big because we like to just deal with what we see and feel. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's just the manifestation of the root cause. Right. But if I can address the real problem, mm -hmm. what's your real problem? You're angry. Mm -hmm. What's your real problem? You're jealous. Mm -hmm. What's your real problem? You're impatient. Mm -hmm. What's your real problem? You don't believe that God is good and he's just mm -hmm. to the righteous. And so you take matters into your own hands. So if I can pass all of the emotions and all of the superficial things that tells me, no, the problem is he shouldn't have did this or she shouldn't have done that and get to the root of the issue to resolve it, which mm -hmm. is me and God. It mm -hmm. always goes back to who I am in God and what does God think and say about me. Mm -hmm. Then I can start something. Then I can recover mm -hmm. because it's all about recovering and not being corrupt in the recovery. Right. You know, we've heard about like someone breaking a finger because it wasn't set right. It heals, mm -hmm. but now it's like crooked and right. it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. So that's not supposed to happen to a believer's heart. Right. Right. If it get hurt, we need to be in position where God can avenge it. Mm -hmm. Can He could be the physician to heal it the way when when that it's healed or when everything is calm that it doesn't come out scarred or like obviously something's wrong. Mm. You can't obviously come off or speak as though or present yourself like something's yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. But we need to be a people that can go through life, experience heartaches, experience the hard things, allow the spirit of truth to be what guides us and governs everything that we do mm -hmm. so that God can be glorified, mm -hmm. so that people can turn to God, so that people can admire the spirit of the Lord is in you. Like you have to be one of another spirit. That's what mm -hmm. was said about Joshua. Mm -hmm. He was one of another spirit and he was wholly given to God. Mm -hmm. He had another heart mm -hmm. that allowed for him to see adversity differently from other people. Mm -hmm. Everyone could be viewing the same thing. Everyone can experience the the same thing you can go in a room crowded like in a room where you're dealing with um some kind of three-step class of oh you know we were all cheated on because we're going to talk about mm -hmm. trying to keep it close to Joseph in his specific situation. Mm -hmm. We all, we all dealt with infidelity, in, and and this is out the outcome, outcome. And you could you could sit in this room, and this therapist is supposed to just listen to you and maybe give you some counsel in the world. Mm -hmm. We all have gone through the same things and can hear all the stories, but then one person could just come out and have a different conclusion. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you know, this isn't going to make break me. You know, this is this can make me stronger. Now I have a deeper understanding of love and commitment and mm -hmm. commitment doesn't have to be simply because no one ever does anything right where um whereas everyone is talking about oh i'm broken and i don't know how i'm ever going to love again i don't know how i'm ever going to trust again and mm -hmm. all men are dogs and all women are harlots like we can come up with all the common conclusions mm -hmm. that will obviously say something happened to you something's wrong with you now you're forever changed mm -hmm. and corrupt marred marred mm -hmm. and another image and now you're you 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 not there's no resolution there's real mm -hmm. no there's no real peace you're now going to just be a, a problem in mm -hmm. the earth mm -hmm. and so having to be someone of another spirit having to be someone with a different heart that mm -hmm. can see things from the eye lenses of Jesus and speak from that from that heart tells you are you just are you righteous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who's my avenger who's the judge mm -hmm. am i someone who takes matters in my own hands or am i someone who puts it in the hands of the lord and believes that god is righteous in all that he does how easy is it for me to experience something hard and say lord i put it in your hands mm -hmm. and trust mm -hmm. that you know it's going to work out for everyone involved yes. and it's not just a selfish need for for revenge or selfish need for for bloodshed mm -hmm. or a selfish need 
for justification. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if it doesn't heal me, if it doesn't change the fact that this happened to me, all I did was make matters worse. Yeah. So the Lord has come to bind up the brokenhearted. He has come to do all this stuff for us because leave it up to us. We, we don't know what it is to go through hard problems of life mm -hmm. and, and not make it worse. We don't mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. what it is to, to feel the effects and influxes of things that shouldn't have happened to you mm -hmm. and it not change you into to something dark. Mm -hmm. Lastly, uh, an example that I brought up today was there was this, there was this situation where this man, he was infected with HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. And when, when he was, when it was revealed to him what happened to him, mm -hmm. as opposed to him stepping back and evaluating decisions that he's made that brought him to such judgment, mm -hmm. his conclusion out of the anger and the bitterness and mm -hmm. hatred now for for women was, I'm going to affect as many women as possible. Mm -hmm. And that's what he did purposely. Mm -hmm. His intent, now his heart became wicked and yeah, evil. Yeah. Now my, my I no longer can love anymore. I'm mm -hmm. now an agent of destruction right. that the devil can use to pour out judgment on other people that's going to come his way and mm -hmm. so he purposely withheld information that would change someone's decisions mm -hmm. and 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 did that throughout the world you know so him being affected when they when when you would hear that the person that affected him wouldn't be judged as harshly as he did because mm -hmm. maybe the one that affected him didn't know he was the person was affected right versus oh i know i'm affected and i'm purposely taking it out on society because mm -hmm. this isn't fair this mm -hmm. shouldn't have happened to me mm -hmm. and and every woman deserves this punishment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what the flesh will do that's yeah. what a broken heart will do yes that's is that's someone who's outside of the will of god mm -hmm. that is someone who is not in the light we do that and everyone in us or comes in in contact with us like gets hit with that wave mm -hmm. so i need to know how to be joseph and feel hurt and shame and embarrassment humiliation right. Right. and still be able to Lord, what, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Lord, what are you doing mm -hmm. in this matter? What am I supposed to be thinking? What am I supposed to be feeling? You know what? I know the law says stone her openly and let it be known that she's, she's an adulteress. But God, there's no glory in that. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no there's no prize in that. There, no one wins. I'm still broken. She's, dis she's dead. Mm -hmm. No one wins. No mm -hmm. one wins. But if I could privately put her away, then an angel can come to me and talk to me. And, and the Lord can minister to me, this is what's happening. So mm -hmm. I get counsel. I get instruction. And a lot of the times in our emotions, in our impulses, we were wrong in our conclusion. Mm -hmm. So Joseph, even though he was willing to justly put her away, you know, I'm sure when he went to bed that night, he was very confused. Mm -hmm. He was very hurt. Mm -hmm. And he had a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And by the mercies of God, this angel appears to him by night and tells him, listen to her. The child that she has is of me. And and tells him all these things. Mm -hmm. Now that gives him the closure. That gives him the peace and the healing. And the confidence to know I did the right thing. Mm -hmm. And no, no one took anything from me. And even though no one's going to understand moving forward. You know it doesn't give a lot of conversation about what the community thought and things like that. And what was said. Mm -hmm. But even if we can envision that people had negative things to say about mm -hmm. them. Because they were betrothed. Not right. yet married. Right. You know like. He has to, I'm going to bear all that for the glory of God, for right. the name of Jesus Christ, because that's what it means to be a servant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, one of my, one of my favorite quotes that I, I commonly uh, tell people when they're in need of, in need of encouragement or a, a reminder of why they should stay holy is, you know, when the hardest thing is normally the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to forgive someone time and time and again, but that's that's what's right. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest thing to do to not think any evil because of what you're what you're perceiving. Mm -hmm. But that's what's right. Yeah. It's the hardest thing to just decide to let love cover the mm -hmm. multitudes of someone's sin. Mm -hmm. But that's what's right. Mm -hmm. And it's not about just being right. It's about being staying free yeah. from bondage, yeah. being free from heartache and mm -hmm. pain that causes you to walk in sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, you know, th th these are the things that God is teaching us by faith. Mm -hmm. God's allowing for the people 
um, that he has awakened to go through circumstances that will uh, mold them into the individuals that God is ultimately pleased with. And so um, I, I do want to read um, some of this here, starting with verse 18 in reference to the situation with Joseph. And I want to look at how there's a blessing that we should understand when it comes to how God will reward us in yeah. the end for being able to uh, listen to him through the adversity that we go through. Um, you know, uh, Hannah yeah. had, uh, you know, uh, in a sense, a similar, um, uh, in a sense, similar situation. Uh, but, um, but let's read uh, before we kind of um, dive into it. So in verse 18 of Matthew chapter 1, it says, Now the birth of Jesus was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, uh, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, um, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Uh, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, uh, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And she shall uh, bring forth a son, and thou shalt call him his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. And um, so uh, this is very important for us to consider because it's sin that wants to replicate itself yes. in us through this sense of justice, mm -hmm. this sense of, you know, sometimes we can try to walk in measures of justice before the time mm -hmm. or or try to think that it's important that we are the ones that should execute the judgment. Mm -hmm. We are the ones that are the the the, um, the judgment of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, and and so in that we uh, act prematurely in ways that affect our own heart and cause our own heart to darken. Yeah. Cause our own heart. And so I love, love the example that you brought up in reference to the, the individual who was diseased and now he wanted to disease many others. Yeah. It's, it, it's because, you know, these are the characteristics that uh, we can uh, be bombarded with. You know, it's like, oh, um, you know, Joseph in this um, condition, hey, you know what? I should, you know, uh, do this because it was, as you said, not fair that I should uh, have to go through this. I should have to suffer this. What did I do? What did I, you know, but yeah. we could, some one of the things is we minimize our own sin. Yes. We minimize our own evil deeds. We yes. minimize what we do. What you did to contribute to this right. outcome. Right. And we maximize what the world does. Yes. We maximize what someone in our life has done. Mm -hmm. We maximize what others do and we minimize what we do. And God is trying to help us to be people that can uh, bear others, mm -hmm. that can, you know, as you said, love covers a multitude of sin, uh, people that are able to look past yes, someone's, um, faults. Yeah, someone's faults and be the type of people that can be restorers of yes, people, yes. A, a mind of res restoration, uh, a mind of reconciliation, yes. a mind of peace, yes. a mind of, of, of bringing people uh, and showing people the examples of who God is yes. and what he's like. Yes. And so um, with um, Hannah, um, Hannah was in a very traumatic situation, you know, in her in her eyes. And one of the things is that her firstborn was used as a man of God, as um, Mary's firstborn was. Mary's firstborn, of course, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And Hannah's firstborn, Samuel, uh, being uh, this mighty man of God whose mm -hmm. prophecies never fell to the floor. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the blessing is that after Hannah, you know, um, 
uh, after Hannah's gift to the Lord in reference to her son, her firstborn son, we see that there is the reality that she was blessed mightily afterwards. Yes, she, she had was. multiple children afterwards. And likewise, Mary having multiple children after Jesus. Yes. So the reality is God will bless the people who um, understand how to look past the adversities they face to look to or, or to you know grab a hold of God in the midst of the adversity yes. grab a hold of God he 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 didn't want to execute what he in a sense had the right to do you know I, I he could have in his pain you know this is embarrassing you know in his in in his pain he could have grabbed the 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 law and as a defense as a defense he could have used use it as a sword yeah the righteous commandments of God, he could have used it for his own fleshly gratification. Yeah. And so he did not do that and it said he was just because of that. You know what it reminds me of? The woman that was ca caught in the act of adultery. Mm. You know, she, she, they were, they were, they went and found her doing something she wasn't supposed to do. And they bring her to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hey, we caught this woman in the very act of adultery. We have a law that says we're supposed to stone mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. You know, but what do you say? And then it said that Jesus just ignored them and kept riding on the, the ground. And then when they pressed the matter, he looked up to them and said, he who, who um, has no sin cast the first stone. Right. And it said that the oldest ones... So the youngest went first and just started to drop yeah. down their their stones. And and because at this point you gotta be confronted with the condition and the motives of your heart. Like, who are you? Like, yes, people deserve punishment. Mm -hmm. Yes, people should not do wrong and evil things. Right. So we're not taking away from the fact that, you know, people shouldn't just be walking around lying and mm -hmm. stealing and committing adultery True. and gossiping and, and, and doing all these things that, that provokes the wrath of the God. We're not mm -hmm. saying that. We're saying... In a, in a perverse generation that we're in, mm -hmm. be someone who can be the light and, and give people a different perspective and encourage people to be better and different. Mm -hmm. So for Jesus to have been fully capable of, of judging them for their wicked hearts and motives in that moment, but also saying, yes, woman, you shouldn't be committing adultery, you harlot. Yeah, go and sin no more. Yeah, rather he says, he who, who he deals with, the he, re, he resolves the problem. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just solve it and immediate problem that's going to re represent re represent itself later down the line he resolves the matter of the real heart mm -hmm. so you know with these pharisees your issue is that you're hypocrites so let me bring this out further for you like yeah. don't accuse her of sin when you're sinning and no one just caught you yet mm -hmm. so if you don't if you without sin go ahead and you you have the right to justly stone her that's one case. You woman, you know, I I have come to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. I'm here to give you guys a new a new hope uh, and make you a, a lively stone. Mm -hmm. You know, so go and sin no more. Resolving the problems, giving people different perspectives. Now, both parties now are supposed to reflect back on how much different their hearts were up and before this encounter with mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Before he was able to bring real truth to the matter, man, I didn't think that way. I saw that woman in adultery, and I think she deserved it. But yet, this man who who is supposed to uphold the law gave us a better better heart to have. Mm -hmm. We're out here trying to restore people back to Christ. Mm -hmm. We're out here to to lead set the captives free. Mm -hmm. But in order to do that, you've got to be healthy, you got to be whole and you got to want to see people succeed. Yeah. You can't want to see the judgment and destruction on people because they deserve it. Mm -hmm. We all deserve damnation. None of us deserve Jesus to come dying on the cross for our sins to liberate us. Mm -hmm. It said while we were yet in our sins, Christ, Christ died, died for us. us. So that tells you the real motive of the Father that mm -hmm. gave us these very laws that we're trying to hold against him. Right. The one who gave his only begotten son 
for you to not perish that is that is smoking and drinking and fighting mm -hmm. and doing all the things that are 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 defiling the land yes i give jesus for you yeah because you need a, you need the mercies of god to help you live and not die mm -hmm. so for us to not understand that and for us to not be able to want to do that yeah. that takes a supernatural manifestation and encounter with the lord mm -hmm. having the holy ghost and being filled with the spirit of god enables mm -hmm. you to not walk in the flesh is very very important mm -hmm. yeah it's it's the uh, the love of God is truly uh, a power that God uh, and and it really an anointing mm -hmm. there's an anointing in the love of God there is a power in the love of God there is a multitude of things that are within the love of God that washes us and really begins to clean our motives and helps us to understand how to build, yes. how to build. So one of the things that I don't do anymore is that when people ask me, when people come into Christ, right, and they ask me, hey, what books um, should they read first? Um, one of the things I don't do anymore is that I don't tell people to start right at the beginning in the book of Genesis. Right. I tell people to start at Matthew and read the New Testament. Why? Because there is a supernatural level of love that uh, you can see that you can be imparted the love of God to in reference to the New Testament mm -hmm. that the Old Testament, if you read it with the wrong mentality or mindset, you can really do some damage with the Old Testament. You can really do some damage. And so there's a level of the love of God that you have to um, and be imparted first and then you can read the Old Testament. You can read the Old Testament as God has washed you and cleansed you and cleared levels of your motives to the to the degree that you can read the Old Testament and and perceive the wrath of God, perceive mm -hmm. other aspects of how God judges so that you can be whole. Because, you know, a lot of the people that, that um, you know, the black Hebrew Israelites and, and uh, uh, many of the other false doctrines that are out there that, that hold to the Old Testament and, and they communicate um, anger and all manner of, of half-truths, yeah. you know, uh, with the Old Testament. They use it as a weapon to really destroy people or keep people in bondage to the uh, chains of of the Old Testament mm. when God is trying to repair the heart yeah. and get people to see the wholeness of what he's saying from a different lens, yes. from a different way. Yes. And so it, it's it, and so the Old Testament is not meant for people to use in a very cynical way, in a very dangerous way. There's there's the reality of what God is teaching us uh, through this ministry of reconciliation, this mm -hmm. ministry of repairing, the repairing the heart, repairing the mind, repairing uh, the the soul, helping us to be the type of people that other people can perceive the spirit of God on. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the Bible says about Daniel is that the Bible says that Daniel had a perfect spirit. Yes, he did. An excellent uh, spirit. An, yes, an excellent spirit. Yeah. So um, that was es it, it, uh, essential because it, it's a, a reality of how you can be in communication with the voice of God, in communication with the, the, the mind that God wants you to have and execute the plans according to the promptings of God, mm -hmm. according to what God wants to bring out of the situation. And, and the, the reason why I bring up Hannah and, and, uh, Mary. and Mary as far as the results that they received afterwards, because we can overlook the fact that they had many kids afterwards. Mm -hmm. We can overlook that but that's a blessing. That's that's a manifestation of, hey, I like what you did, and I'm going to show you through supernatural manifestation that I am in approval yes. with how you did and the condition of your heart. Yes. I like what you did, and so I want to ensure that you know and that the people know the records Dis, the, uh, the records show and display that this is 
how I perceive this person and this person and that person and this person in the Bible. And so God is in the the condition of strengthening us beyond our adversities and and trying to get us to pay attention to him as we grow in him. Yes. You know, because sometimes we can think that we can just be independent of God and that is what brings the confusion in the situations that we go through. And then we we look back at God and God says, well, I didn't want you doing that in the first place. I didn't want you doing that. I didn't want you, uh, as you were saying, sleeping around with all of these women, you know, and that's how you contracted AIDS in the first place. You like, know, be I humble and real yeah. about it. You're not a victim. No one is a anyone. No one in sin outside of God is a victim. Mm -hmm. You're just giving yourself over to the devourer to make it very easy. Some of us, we make it very easy for, for the devil to destroy many things in our lives. Like, mm -hmm. he doesn't even have to try hard a right. lot of the times because right. we're just giving ourselves over to our lusts. Yeah. We don't even have to be reprobate. with. We're just... We feel it, we do it. Yeah. We think it, we walk in it. It's, yeah. like, we, 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 it's like we have no restraint. Yeah. No control, like like beasts, the yeah. Bible says. Like yeah. we gotta be able to Romans one. Yeah, we gotta yeah. control ourselves. We're not animals. But I think one thing too that makes it hard is just the fear of not being avenged. Mm. Like, man, if I do the right thing, like, you know, the the good guy always ends last or yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, or different proverbs of the world that that alludes to the fact that mm -hmm. when, when it, the ones the ones that wait patiently they 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 don't get fed mm -hmm. uh, and i'm just thinking about one time i was at some wedding <laughs> right. right you know what i'm about to <laughs> yeah. say uh, i was yeah, at this yeah. wedding and it's and it was a, it was a, a christian wedding at that and i had just started receiving and accepting the whole patience and thinking people more highly than yourselves and just like just wait just do things decently and in order but i was with these group of people like it was like dog eat dog man mm -hmm. and so we in this buffet line for food and people were like getting in front of me like you're the weaker link and they could smell you mm -hmm. they smell the kindness and they take it as weakness mm -hmm. and I, the first person that did it oh, okay it's all right I'm, I'm still gonna eat the second person come and then it was doing stuff like Acting like they're getting something over there and talking to the person, and then they just don't move anymore. Right. Or they're coming to tell the person in front of you something, and then they just kind of stay there. And at some point, it had to be like, I'm not moving, but the line is moving, right. but I'm not moving. Right. And at that moment, I was thinking to myself, well, Lord, you said to be patient. Mm -hmm. You said to, like... Don't, 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 because, you know, you could be like them. Like, you could get aggressive or say, no, you skipped me. Or you could get out of the, with your where you are and go back to where you were supposed right. to be and show right. all this manner of aggression and taking matters into your own hands. But then they're just going to say, oh, you're just like the rest of us. Right. So even though for me, I felt like, man, they're they're disrespecting me or, or they're, uh, like, of, offending me. And I might by the time I get to this food, I might not eat anymore. I'm thinking all these thoughts. But then the conclusion was, but God said it's good to be patient. Mm -hmm. It's good to be enduring and mm -hmm. suffer long and, and to love people. It's good. So you didn't rob me of anything but temporal things. Mm -hmm. Like, so you ran out of some chicken, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, but you didn't, you didn't take the glory of God from me. You didn't take my, my, my identity in Christ away from me, which is more, more important. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about how, you know, the fear of recovering in righteousness the fear of doing things justly it it it, pro it promotes this false deception that says people get away f f with hurting you that's mm -hmm. why it's hard to be meek and of yeah. a quiet spirit yeah because you know they take meekness or humility as you're asking them to be a doormat when we're when the lord is saying be meek for you'll inherit the earth or be humble god isn't saying just allow people to treat you like trash he's saying just have a different spirit mm -hmm. have another heart have another mindset be excellent at heart mm -hmm. because in doing that he comes and makes right of all the wrong things but that's hard because that's hard because our approach is immediate mm -hmm. like someone mm -hmm. gets in front of you no 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 you skip me yeah. that was an immediate resolution yeah. right there or yeah. problem solving it right. wasn't even the resolution right. because now you're gonna have to deal with the next person coming so you're not mm -hmm. really resolving something you're just temporarily addressing a matter mm -hmm. you know and there and there's times for that but the real issue is Cynthia why are you feeling like you're being disrespected right now? 
they're the ones walking in error. You're doing the right thing. So why is being right offensive to you? Mm -hmm. That's a lesson to learn. Yes. That's an opportunity to show up some things mm -hmm. that are weak within you. That's a moment where you can ask God to help you be strong and okay. Mm -hmm. So that next time someone skips you, you don't. it doesn't even... Oh, mm -hmm. and you don't think, yeah, people do that. No, that's still not okay. Like, yeah, yeah it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking maybe they didn't eat today. Like, even if that's not what the case is, at least right. your heart is thinking that as opposed to she just disrespected me. Mm -hmm. You know, so not believing the lie that says that people will get away with the abuse mm -hmm. or getting away with mishandling you. Laying down the manipulation or the deception of the enemy telling you that God isn't going to rise up and fight for you mm -hmm. and, and, and and shield you and head you like he says. So, so we don't even give God the opportunity. And so we need to live in a way that like provokes the Lord. Yeah. Like live in such a way that God mm. can't help but help yes. but, but respond and say no. Mm -hmm. Like you have have to be the person that the devil can can can't even touch be got because God is like no mm -hmm. you know and and we've got to I'm not gonna say challenge but we've got to put God to the test because the Bible says for mm -hmm. us to test and yeah. to taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Yeah. We've got to be willing enough to put our personal fears and inhibitions aside and say, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna love. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna walk in First Corinthians thirteen, mm -hmm. and and it doesn't matter what people do. God is good, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to prove to the world and myself first that God is good. And what and then uh, make your get well acquainted with the Word of God because mm -hmm. every single thing that you can experience in life is in the Word. Mm -hmm. So what is God saying about this matter? You know, people have challenges like, I'm going to read the Bible in 30 days. How about you challenge yourself to forgive every day for 30 days mm -hmm. and see what God is going to do. Mm -hmm. See what God is going to do in you and see what, what kind of person you're going to become after that 30 days. Yeah. Put yourself under a vow like, mm -hmm. and, and consecrate yourself unto the Lord because he's not a liar. Mm -hmm. and, and, and these spiritual matters that we're talking about that's more relevant than the natural is of the most importance for us to consider. Mm -hmm. Man. I can't continue walking around frustrated. Mm -hmm. I can't continue to walk around paranoid that everyone is out to get me. Mm -hmm. I know someone that every time we went to the grocery store, that she just always believed that the, the, that the cashier was ripping her off. <laughs> it don't matter if we went to different red gr grocery stores, different cashiers. She would take the receipt and analyze and itemize every item. And mm -hmm. then every once in a blue moon, she'll see that she got charged once. Mm -hmm. I mean, twice for something. That was like $2. Right. But there was this paranoia that said, everyone's out to rip me off. Mm -hmm. And so every store, I don't trust anybody. And, and holding up the line, just to make sure. And then go home and, and make sure. Mm -hmm. Like, that's bondage. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, torment to, to, to live like that. Instead of living like, you know, if someone took something away from me, God will redeem it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's such a peaceful way. You don't lose anything. It mm -hmm. comes back to you because it smells good to the Lord. Yeah. So, like, live in a way that it provokes the Lord to respond for you, mm -hmm. provokes the Lord to speak up for you. He says he avenges those who gets out. He says, right. get make space for him to avenge you. Right. Do the right thing. Heat mm -hmm. some coals over yeah. some people's heads. Get out of the way. Get out of the way and yeah. let the Lord be God and, and just love, love, because love destroys the evil. Yeah. We don't understand that, that, you know, someone yelling at you and you give them a nice answer that turns away wrath. Mm -hmm. That's the word of God. Yeah, like, soft answer turns yeah. away wrath, right? Right. right. So I'm not going to give you what you deserve. You just call me out my name or you're just yelling at me out and you're being all hostile. And I just stand there and I'm just in my mind, maybe he's had a, a bad day, right. you know, or, yeah. oh, he's really hurting. Like yeah. not thinking of yourself in the, like, no, you're not going to talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. Man, this person's really acting so out of character that I don't pray for him enough. Mm -hmm. Like, godly, mm -hmm. but not like, oh, he need prayer. Like, mm -hmm. just feeling, like, being able to discern what's happening right now. Right. Getting yourself out the way right. and being an agent of the Lord to bring resolution to something broken. Like, you didn't break that. You didn't do that. But you're right. receiving it. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry you feel that way. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling him, and I happened the first time, but the second time you keep telling that person, mm -hmm. okay, and mm -hmm. you're not giving them the response that they're used to or expecting, mm -hmm. it's going to cause the person to be like, well, what's up with you? Yeah. Okay. 
And yeah. that person's gonna walk away feeling like, man, I didn't need to do all that. Right. right. I didn't need to do all one that. One of the one of the things is that uh, that I believe is that you know it's important to make room for the miracle. Mm -hmm. It's important to allow God to see your good works. And, you know, the Bible tells that in Matthew, you know, do do, uh, do good works, you know, uh, before men and, you know, God will reward you openly or something like yeah. that. Um, so we, we are in position to honor God first, yeah. honor God, to walk in the image and the likeness of God. And so there, there are miracles that are in line with the people that deny themselves and they, as Jesus said, uh, take up their cross and follow him. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot when you um, guard your heart in that, not that you are deceiving your heart in the sense that you're saying, yeah, we're not oh, saying make up lies. Yeah, we're not saying deceive your heart and saying yeah. you, you know, this person is acting this way, but yet you're going to say something else as if that mm. person is not acting mm -hmm. that way. You know, it's that way, but you, you're. Um, you're, you're deciding to bless and yeah. Not there's curse. a there's a pity. There's a, uh, a a humility. There's a meekness that you know. You know. Well, turning I, the other cheek. Yeah. It's like well, you know what? I, I understand, but I'm. I, I, but you you can't let the the things that people do transfer to you oh, or make you someone evil. someone evil or make you something that God's not saying that you ought to be. God's trying to get you to be strong to where you can bear others. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, the concept of the um, uh, mustard seed is. The mustard seed is a very small seed. Um, and Jesus is describing it as this mustard seed grows into a very large tree. And this large tree, of course, has large branches, has uh, uh, room to hold and bear up things. All sorts of birds of the air and all manner of things can feed and be housed on these branches. And so th that's what the people of God are, people that can bear others, that can strengthen others. Uh, you have uh, two coats, give, give, him one. give him one. You have more food. Food, give him some. You you have things. Don't help. take more than you need. Yeah, don't take more than you eat. Don't 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 do the usury don't pick thing. All the fruit off the tree. Think about the stranger or the person that doesn't have, and let them get some. Right, like, leave right. some for the I, people less fortunate. Just recently, a uh, man of God told me about a wonderful miracle in his life, and and I was and and uh, I told him just uh, just plainly, can I come to your house so we can dance together? You know, because <laughs> this is the reality of when you desire good for people. Yeah. You desire uh, growth and maturity. And, man, you see God work in their lives. And you see things manifesting. You see, man, oh, God is doing. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, yes. And, you know, and, and the thing is you want good for people. Mm -hmm. You want to pray for them and, 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 and allow God to strengthen them, them in specific areas and bless them. Not for... For them to consume it upon their own lust, but for them to learn specific lessons that actually benefit and cause their heart to grow and mature. So in the maturity of our hearts, in the maturity of our minds, in the maturity in our souls, um, taking away the old and implanting the new, there's a miraculous atmosphere that is being built up. Yeah. So now um, if someone cuts me in the line. Guess what? Four or five people can cut me in the line, and and at the end, when I actually get to the uh, the, the 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 very um, um, beginning of the line, someone says, "Oh, you know what? Um, we the don't." The person in front of you decided they pay for your stuff. Yeah, or the 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 people say, "Oh, yeah, there's no more food left," and you're like. Oh man, I man, I did was right, and 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 I and I didn't get the um, what I w thought was I was going to get. For. But then they say, "But you know what though? Um, I took more food than I was supposed to take. The very server, I took more food than I was supposed to take, and I saw them cut you in line. I saw what they did to you. You know what? I'm gonna give you not just." Uh, some of my food. I'm gonna give you all of my food because that inspired me. Because I wouldn't have done what you did, and so because of that, I saw God in what you did. And so I want to know your name. I I need your number. I need to to really 
um, be uh, uh, around you because be ready to give them an answer. To right, people. because I don't understand why you just did that. You let five people, ten people, cut you in line. You did. Uh, you're at the beginning of the line. You have no more. F- there's no more food, and I'm about to give you all my food, um, and have nothing myself because. I'm awestruck by your level of selflessness and love and the fact that you didn't complain like other people did. You didn't murmur. You didn't um, say things that would have um, communicated to me as I was watching you that you were just like everybody else. And so you, we make space for the miracle. The miracle, it manifests in so many different ways. And in that, God is pleased and God's image is seen throughout the world. And it's so. It's all about not, not, you know, by Old Testament, an eye for an eye, a tooth for yeah, a tooth. Yeah. Like, it's all about not giving people what you think they deserve because God doesn't respond to you that way. Mm. So we need to be like our Father in heaven um, because there's no other way to live like you're not a. A lion, mm. you know, lions, they, they live for the moment and, and they'll kill whatever they can catch mm. and not think twice about it. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the things I hate about watching those those animal shows mm-hmm. is that the lion is going for the, for the baby. Like mm-hmm. you can't go for the big wildebeest. You want the baby wildebeest. Mm. But that's 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 a depiction of the spiritual realm, too. Like the devil, he goes for the weak for the weak and and helpless things. Mm -hmm. So we've got to be strong in the Lord. And in order to do that, we've got to learn of the Lord and not trust in what is explained, but trust in the supernatural, trust in the God that we cannot see. Love the brother next to you that you do see Mm -hmm. so that you can effectively love the God that you cannot see. Mm -hmm. And understand that there's a supernatural realm, a, a spiritual realm that's more more righteous and 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 real than the than the the realm that we live in that can be easily manipulated Mm -hmm. so not so so i'm just i'm personally learning how to think positive towards everybody even if i know something wrong is happening or something wrong is is being said behind closed doors or whatever you can experience as a human just learning how to Draw closer to the Lord and not let mm. people disturb your process. Not allowing someone to frustrate me or uh, anger me so much that I start doing the things that a they're doing or the things that I'm growing out of. Mm. I am not who I used to be, and it doesn't matter what people are doing. I'm never going back because mm. it takes a lot of work and effort to come out of those pits. The mm-hmm. miry, the miry, um, the yeah, yeah, like you need to. Be a dry bone that the Lord is reviving. Mm -hmm. So people are always going to do things, unfortunately, as long as the devil is out and people are giving to their flesh more than the spirit. People are going to do things. But I have a hope to know that God is going to shield me from a lot of the things that otherwise would happen to me if I wasn't in him. So that's a reality. I'm not going to experience the fullness of, of damage of life because I'm in the Lord. There's a safety found in God. But also because I'm more like the Lord daily and I'm continuing to strive to be more like God, like I'm no one can no one can break my heart unless I expose myself to be that vulnerable. Like Mm -hmm. the Lord shields my heart Mm -hmm. with the shield of faith. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to arm ourselves with that same mentality and we've got to be willing to to love people on to death that Jesus, they they beat him, and mm-hmm. I th- I think we we're so used to rehearsing that account that it we're, we're belittling mm-hmm. what he did. Mm-hmm. He was selfless. He was like a sheep to the slaughter, and he did not defend himself, even though it said that he can call legions of angels mm-hmm. to, to 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 just wipe everything away. Right now, he let them with those crazy instruments like shred him. And beat him till he was unrecognizable, mm-hmm. and hang him on this tree, and mock him, and scoff at him, and and just blaspheme him. Mm-hmm. He he let them do that. Mm-hmm. He didn't. They didn't have control over him. Mm-hmm. They he let them do that, and it did not change his mentality towards them. Mm-hmm. On the cross, he was still praying, "Forgive them. They don't know what they're doing." Wow. Like, what does it take for me to be that way? What does it take for me to 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 love in such a way that I'm asking God, don't don't respond to what they deserve. Yeah. Not only am I not going to respond to what they deserve, you're asking the Lord, don't do it to them. 
because because the Lord loves you, He's going to defend you. Mm -hmm. But being the person that no, I don't want them destroyed. I just want them healed and restored. Yeah. So so how can I be a solution to the problem? And not complicate matters by allowing my emotions to get to the best of me. That's a question, and there's an answer to the question. And it's for us to strive daily to unveil those mysteries more and more and to present our hearts every day to the Lord for him to shape it. I need a golden heart, you know, a heart that cannot be tainted, a heart that cannot be persu uh, like persuaded to do evil, a heart that cannot be provoked mm -hmm. you know i cannot be impulsive mm -hmm. people are lying on you it's okay mm -hmm. you know people are, are are mishandling you or or or, or slandering you it's okay mm -hmm. you know what the enemy is trying to destroy me with is going to turn around and destroy him with mm -hmm. isn't that the testimony of jesus yeah devil thought he had the the, the the devil thought he had jesus by getting them jews to put him on the tree and then the bible tells us man had he known that he wouldn't have done that mm -hmm. so what can my love do that the devil has no clue mm -hmm. like what can me giving turning the other cheek what can me blessing someone who's cursing me and reviling me do if do, if Jesus doing that this, set every captive free and then tore the veil and 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 he didn't abolish the law he fulfilled the law mm. he allowed for me now to enter into a, a, a new wave of of revival and go into to to grace so I need to I need to care to know what is my forgiveness going to cover what is my my bearing a burden of someone else going to restore mm -hmm. what is my my quick um, rebound out of a situation going to do like you can feel that you're human mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no one's trying to say be a robot and be like so in the spirit that you, you like mm -hmm. be you're gonna feel someone punch you mm -hmm. but quickly re rebounding from that yeah. and not taking days like right. we shouldn't let the sun go down on our wrath we, mm -hmm. we need to be quick people that believe in God every juncture every opportunity no God is good and I and he's laid a found he's laid a foundation he's laid a standard mm -hmm. and I have power to uphold the standard by the Holy Ghost praise be to Jesus mm -hmm. so the questions of it not being fair or is people gonna do it again yes possibly mm -hmm. but but greater is he that is in you than he that's in the mm -hmm. world you know be of good cheer for he's overcome the world mm -hmm. and and let that be what inspires you let mm -hmm. that be what encourages and motivates you to seek the face of God mm -hmm. so that he can show himself to you he's he's a good God and, he's and good God Good God. No one's gonna no one's going to disturb my process like they used to be able to do in the past. No one's going to cause me to to revert back and pick up dead things mm -hmm. and become the this this horrible, this difficult, stubborn, afraid person. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm coming out of fears, I'm coming out of prides, I'm coming out of hatred, and I love it. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a freedom, there's a yeah. restraint that you feel, there's a weight lifted off your shoulders Liberation. that you feel. There's a liberty, there's a joy that you feel there's this peace that you feel that it feels much better than avenging blood mm -hmm. so so like appreciating the freedom that is in righteousness mm -hmm. appreciating the peace that is in just being just in mm -hmm. all your ways yeah yeah amen 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 god bless you all <laughs>